When it comes to play, Coop has an unusual playmate. Gotta be warm. Miranda prepares a bottle for him. You ready to go find your baby? Huh? No, get down. Get down. Come here, baby! Look, here he comes. It's an orphaned baby deer. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Coop and the fawn get along so well from day one. It's just been a, a relationship that they've created and it's so neat to witness. You can tell that he just has taken on like a motherly role for the deer. Coop's friend looks happy and well-fed. Eight weeks earlier, it was a different story. The Stidham family first found the baby deer when it was trying to nurse from a neighbor's cow. We just drove by the neighbor's house and saw it by his barn. Don and Miranda knew they had to help feed the fawn. How in the world am I going to catch this deer? I was afraid he would either get heat exhaustion, because you could tell he was dehydrated, and uh, he was pretty hot. I just stepped out of the vehicle and squatted down, and he just ran right to me. Then he just started attacking me, wanting to nurse. And so I just picked him up, went over to the passenger side, set in the pickup, and home we came. I thought, oh my goodness, what have we gotten ourselves into? He was severely dehydrated and needed fluids. So the only thing we could come up with was to cut a finger off of a glove and put it on a pop bottle to get fluids into him. I don't know what happened to the mother, if it had just left it because of the drought we were in or, or something actually happened to it. Wild animals have to fend for themselves. There's no one out there that's going to fill a water bowl for them. Times of drought are really tough on them. So in those extreme circumstances, a mother animal might actually abandon her baby because if she doesn't think that she can keep it alive, there's no sense in putting herself at risk too. With the fawn taking in fluids, Don and Miranda had another worry. One of our main concerns was how Coop was going to react to the deer. We didn't want the deer in any harm's way, and we were just really concerned about it. As we was feeding it, just let Coop and the fawn smell each other, let them know that, hey, this is fine. So as I was feeding it, the dog was cleaning it, licking it, and just never felt threatened by it. It was just amazing from the very first time that they saw one another. Now, the little guy who they lovingly called Baby is flourishing with his adoptive family. We were told that a lot of times they're really difficult to raise, that a lot of times they'll get sick and they'll die before, you know, they get very big. And we've just been fortunate. He's very healthy and just done really, really well. The ingredients to the fawn's amazing recovery? Two bottles of milk a day, a doting family, and a playful canine companion. To watch the bond between the two of them, it's just such a neat thing.